if the ambulance came here earlier, she, I think she would have been alive. You can see the pain in Steve Dublon's eyes. A 32-year-old son and his dad grieving over the loss of his mom. How long were you married? 54 years. 54 years, God bless you. Don't one have... lady, one man. Francisca had been sick for five long years, but on September 1st last year, she suddenly started gasping for air. It was holding like this. A call, ambulance, call, call, breathe. My dad is saying, like, my wife is dying. Can you hurry up? Can you hurry, hurry up, up and hurry come? Hurry up, hurry up, come, hurry up. The Port Arthur police and fire truck arrived in minutes, but the ambulance needed to take Francisca to the hospital was nowhere to be seen. Francisca was going into cardiac arrest. My dad was like crying. I was like, where the ambulance at? Where the ambulance? They still haven't had got here. The fire chief says the Acadian ambulance did not arrive until 35 minutes after that call for help came in. The city ordinance calls for a 480 second response time, eight minutes on 90% of the calls. Because if I have a heart attack, I want someone here in eight minutes, and that's per our contract. I'm talking about somebody right. that can transport me to a facility of care within a timely manner. At Port Arthur City Hall, Acadian faced tough questions. The company has been handling 911 calls for Port Arthur for 13 years and has a virtual lock on all the ambulance response in the Golden Triangle. But the company has no dedicated ambulances to the city of Port Arthur, and the mayor says that must change. Acadian is all over the world. All you got to do, my good friend, my executive, man, get some units to Port Arthur. He said he was so scared, he didn't know what was going I on. I just was crying, was crying, 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 crying. There was a reason the response time was so long that day. Stephen Cornelio called for help. The Acadian ambulance was apparently dispatched from Lumberton on the other side of Beaumont. 35 miles away, Acadian has never provided dedicated ambulances to the city, and it's curious why the council didn't require it when a new contract was signed last November. If you can't get no de dedicated ambulances in this city, then we're going to send out requests for proposals and we're going to get somebody who's going to give us dedicated ambulance in this city. What happened on Green Avenue has happened in other places. In August, an assault call in the 1300 block of Joe Lewis turned into a seizure. The fire truck was on scene in three minutes. The Acadian ambulance took 40 minutes. My total concern is Port Arthur, period. We don't yet know if this was one of the times Acadians simply had no ambulance to send. Between September and December, the company reported zero ambulances to dispatch in Port Arthur a whopping 57 times, sometimes unable to respond for hours. That's what happened when the councilman once called for an ambulance. It was told to me that we did not have a bus available. I'm upset about that. I want to make changes. Acadian has so far failed to provide GPS data that would track ambulance locations in Port Arthur. And the city has been asking for months. We don't look into those. I'm going to look at your numbers. I'm going to look at, and I want to know where your buses are. When the Port Arthur City Council meets again on Tuesday night, they're going to have a much bigger problem on their hand because our investigation hasn't found just evidence that Acadian had some bad response times. It looks like they may have lied about it, providing false response time records to the city. And that could be a crime. On its September monthly report to the city, that call to the Dublon house was reported at being just under six minutes, not the truth, which was 35 agonizing minutes. Do you want them to investigate this, the city? Yes. I think it would be appropriate to, to do fact-finding, I'm going to call it, to identify where some of the errors or misrepresentation has occurred. That seizure call on Joe Lewis, the 40-minute response time, Acadian's August report to the city claimed they really got there in 7 minutes and 45 seconds. Also, not true. Did you guys falsify your response time data? Did you falsify the data? Some of the company's worst responses covered up with false numbers. And the citizens of Port Arthur, they deserve to know why. Why won't you answer our questions? 
I mean, it's pre pretty important. It's one thing to have an ambulance screw up, but it's another thing to provide false documents. You know, providing false documents to the government can be a crime. Why won't you talk to us about it? Don't you think the citizens of Port Arthur deserve an explanation? Are you just gonna give me the silent treatment? Yes. I miss her a lot. Dear Ben, we miss her so much. It was just three of us. She she went away.